in today. Nice and clean, good boy. Good boy. Hey, oh. Not nice crossover. Or good boy. Yes. Nice work. Wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. Good boy, wiggle, wiggle. A little closer. Good man. Good boy. Horses have always been one of the most defining aspects of my life. I started riding from a very young age. My dad grew up competing in rodeos and training horses, and he taught me a lot. We never had our own horses when I was a kid, but we went from farm to farm, training horses in exchange for riding, and this gave me an incredible amount of knowledge and experience. Mostly, I learned responsibility, accountability, developed a strong work ethic, and stayed active. To this day, even though I don't get much time for it, it's still one of my greatest passions. When we moved into this beautiful new home that we built, I soon went over next door to meet this guy. His name is Twist, I call him Mr. Twist, and his owners asked me to begin retraining him. It's been an incredible feeling to get back into it, and I hope to be able to document more about this journey here in my videos. After a great session with Twist, I wanted to quickly get out on the four-wheeler before the sun went down. I'd been meaning to go out and explore with my Garmin to look for some new camping spots. Some spots that I could get in either with the bikes or the four-wheeler, and I hadn't really had much time to do that, so I'm just going to scoot out now go check it out.
shiny. Best day ever. I've been using the same worn out helmet, earpieces that don't work for far too long. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> and ears that stay up. And a mask that isn't all torn up. Oh, it's a good day. We're gonna make a path through the back forest for the four-wheeler, the bikes, and eventually that horse next door that I've been working with. So I'm going to work on chopping some of that up back there today because it's really, really messy. And the girls are going to help me clean it up. I'm going to keep them off camera just because um, for their own safety and stuff, but, but they'll be around. They'll be helping me out. Well, saw's out of gas, and Brandon's gone with the gas. <laughs> so I was gonna have to wait. I got that fire to go. Jeez, that's the one a couple videos ago. <laughs> it said might need a little bit of gas to get going. All right, so today is a new day. I'm uh, gonna be working in our forest again today. I ran out of uh, gas in the saw yesterday when I was trying to clear out a path, and Brandon was gone with the mixed gas, so got it today. Gonna fill it up. And uh, I wanted to address something that was that I had a lot of comments about um, the last time I did a video around here where I burnt up some cardboard and stuff. Um, we don't burn garbage, we just burn our cardboard. That's what we do, a lot of people do it, especially if you live uh, kind of in the countryside like we do. Lots of people just burn their cardboard up. It's not a big deal around here. Um, if you guys disagree with that, that's okay, uh, but that's just how we do things here. <laughs> Another concern I got was about us, uh, about this burn pile and burning the wood in it. And uh, there's lots of concerned people saying that we could use the wood that's burning currently in that wood pile to heat our home. And that is junk wood. That is not good for your chimney. We have an entire pile of hardwoods for maples and birches and oaks and things like that. That's what you want to burn. Um, ash. We don't burn those things outside. That's really, really good winter wood and we just have an endless supply. Okay, so this pile, that's a bunch of junk wood that we're going to end up milling eventually. We want to build um, a few things around the property. And so that's what that's going to be used for. Now this pile over here, that is our hardwood pile that we use for indoor burning in our wood stove. So there's quite a few reasons why we don't burn uh, spruce and like all those softwoods and evergreens 
inside in the wood stove. Number one, it creates a whole lot of creosote in the chimney pipe, um, which builds up and can eventually, if it builds up enough, cause a chimney fire. It burns up very quickly. It's just not good wood for heating a house. Anyone who heats their home um, with an indoor fireplace, that's important, will tell you the same thing. Now, people with outdoor furnaces, outdoor wood boilers, then you can start burning all this junk wood because those things will just burn anything. Um, but when you're dealing with an indoor wood stove or fireplace, you wanna burn hardwoods. Uh, they're way, way better, way more efficient, and it just doesn't make sense to burn this junk wood when we have loads and loads of really, really good quality hardwood. So that's my little spiel about <laughs> Those two things are very concerning to very many people. I just wanted to pop on here real quick and talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Squarespace. Personally, I've been using Squarespace for about two years now to help grow my new freelance videography business. The reason I chose it initially was because of how simple it is to use. You just choose a template and then you can kind of pick your brand, your brand colors, your brand style, fonts, and it just creates this beautiful little package of everything that you need to create your own brand. For example, I'm in the process right now of offering a new service within my business. And so it's been really easy to just choose a template that goes exactly with the style of my website that I already have and build that landing page that my future clients can go check out, read all about this new service that I'm offering. And it makes it really simple for them to reach out and book me in. Part of the simplicity that comes with Squarespace is their fluid engine design, which allows you basically to create anything, whether that be an image or text, and you can just drag and drop it on the page wherever you want. There's even little guidelines so that you can line everything up and space it out perfectly, which is so helpful. Squarespace also offers great tools in terms of tracking growth and traffic sources in their analytics section, which is super helpful in planning out my marketing strategies. So head over to squarespace.com today. You can start a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash Karina Alexis, and you'll get 10% off your first purchase of either a website or a domain. So thank you so much, Squarespace, and back to the video. So I've gone through quite a bit of this forest and just felled all of the dead stuff. This is our little sanctuary, I guess, you know, to us. And so we're trying to manage this forest so that it can grow healthy. Um, there was a bit of a microburst that went through here not very long ago, and there is so much carnage from it like so much stuff is just hung up like way in the tree like way up in the trees and uh and there's like as you can see there's just like carnage everywhere from that little windstorm whatever happened in here so because this is our little forest and because we want to use it and we want it to grow nice and healthy um, a lot of this stuff is just choking out the rest of the trees that are trying to grow and be healthy so the best thing we can do to manage our forest is to get rid of all the dead stuff um, and clean it up and get rid of any of the unhealthy trees that are growing among amongst the healthy ones because that will give the healthy ones more sunlight and 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 more room to grow get more nutrients so anyways all that to say we are trying to manage our forest the best way that we know how. We would like for the healthy trees to grow big and strong, and we want to remove the trees that are stifling the growth of the healthy ones. So of course we have to pick and choose. We don't just take down whatever. Um, you know, we take a good look through. My husband, Brandon, as many of you know, is an arborist, so he's obviously got a lot of knowledge um, as far as which trees need to go and which trees can stay. And, uh, and I have a fair bit of knowledge too, working with him for a few years, so. We're not doing this blindly and we're not trying to ruin our forest. We're actually trying to help it to grow bigger and stronger. And we want the trees that are here to last a very long time and grow big and healthy and beautiful. And so by managing a little bit, um, we're gonna help it to do so. I got really tired all of a sudden. Um, yeah, I got a lot done in the forest. I uh, got quite a bit chopped down and it's gonna be a long while before we get it all cleaned out of there, but a little bit at a time, as often as I can, I'll probably do that. If 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this super random day in the life style video. Um, if you did, leave me a like. Uh, please subscribe. I'm almost at the 200,000 mark, so it'd be really cool to, to see 200,000 subscribers um, hopefully this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next video should be a camping video, so stay tuned. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Bye!